my grandma's, who passed away, that's from my girlfriend who bought it from America for me. This one's from America as well. And then this I got given to at a festival, and I don't know much about it, but I kept this one because last year in the UK I had such a good year, and that was kind of a key moment of it, so I wanted to keep it and wear it. Looks like something off Men in Black as well, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm from a small, men small town mentality, um, and definitely, and it's hard to get rid of that. And I'm glad I don't, because it does keep me quite grounded. But it doesn't benefit me sometimes because I meet girls and I want to move in with them and, and have a kid with them. But, you know, there's a job to do here and, and I love doing that job, so... Yeah, it's definitely a small town thing. In, in terms of me and Adele doing breakup albums, and I think people are starting to ask me, is it a formula? It's, it's not, it was just, for me, I, I don't know what my second album will be about. I just, I just need to express myself and that's how it came out on this album, you know. A lot of songwriters come up with a lyric. I, I, I tend to don't do that. I do that very last and turn, this, turn an idea into a story almost. I often get ideas, melody ideas, just cleaning my house or walking about down the street or whatever like that and, and, and try keeping to do that, go for a walk in the park and things just to, to get that. But when I go into a studio and working with somebody else, I'll walk straight to the piano because I think the, the, the really important thing, and, and, and I know that Americans appreciate this, is that you craft a song. I might be able to put all these strings and gospel choirs that we talk about and use all this equipment and everything like that, and, and for other people we spoke about using all these synths and everything like that, but if the song's not there, stop wasting your money. I mean, you, you, I spend hours and hours and hours on songs, and, and I'm sure the likes of Adele did as well, and Florence and the Machine does, and Mumford and Sons do, and Ed Sheeran does. These are just UK acts I'm talking about, but Beyonce, yeah, Rihanna, sure. these songs are all <laughs> spent so much time on because they're great songs that are crafted and they go back and back and and that's the important thing to me that I sit down on the piano and I make a song and then I start having fun with it, you know. When you are young, you can talk about it more almost and and, and almost when you, the more you mature, the more it becomes, oh, that's just life. Whereas when, you, when you're a kid, you question everything and, and that makes such great material. But, but also there is a certain matureness, especially as being a guy and I felt that from doing it, I felt quite, oh God, can I, can I talk about these things? I'm meant to be a guy and all, oh, she was just a girl, you know, which bitch next, you know, but that's that's not it. It's like, there's a certain matureness to it. It's like, that I am, all guys are vulnerable, all, everybody's vulnerable and, and everybody has them emotions and, and it's like, if you need to express them, then you should be able to without being criticized or commented on by maybe your peers or other people that are judgmental around you for that reason. Tribute's an album that I was, uh, I did a feature with some guys called Rudimental and I was touring the world with them and, and having much fun and, and I, I knew that there was an album for myself coming. Um, I'd always been involved in my own solo project and Tribute was an album that I was kind of, I felt I was forcing a little bit in parts. Um, I've always enjoyed making music and not felt pressure but I'd, I'd kind of got so involved in the fun life that I'd related home to being boring and not right and, and unfortunately my girlfriend was there at the time and that relationship became involved in that and, and when, when that hectic crazy month of splitting up with somebody that I, I was madly in love with and we'd built this house together and it had all started falling apart, when that started coming I needed to express it and, and that went into tribute and that's the songwriting. In terms of the production and, and, and everything else, I did it at a studio called Rack Studios in London which is incredible. Great names go there. I mean, Adele was in the studio next to me when I was when I was making it. I do use synths, but I don't like to use them too much. And and when you don't use them too much, I think in a world of, of what you guys call EDM and, and and our pop music and dance music, I think you've got to replace these things. You've got to you've got to get that sound and, and, and the Phil Spector thing massively. Like the wall of sound, I love it. I love the epicness. I love film music and I love Bond themes and you know that, that kind of whole cinematic thing and. And I needed to get that. You could sit for hours on a synth, but I'd rather sit there and put two drum kits in a row and then a, a, an extra drum kit on the end and put a mic in a bucket of water at the end of it to get a huge thumping kick or playing around with an old school API desk because them things, they're gonna go soon. We're gonna lose them quality soon where, where the older vintage equipment is gonna die out soon and we're gonna lose them things and, and I don't think we've appreciated them quite enough yet.